Welcome to Tech Trail. Imagine that Monday morning your manager asks you to develop a full library management system, backend API, friend in UI, all ready by end of the day. It sounds impossible. But today, in this episode of Tech Trail, we are about to build the entire application, the backend and front end, starting from a simple ER diagram using nothing but GitHub Copilot and the brand new GPT-5. Before we start coding, let us talk about our secret weapon. Just few days before, GitHub announced that GPT-5 is here for Copilot and it changes the game. This is not just a version bump. We are talking deeper reasoning, richer context understanding and faster code generation. Imagine an assistant that not only really knows the framework you are using, but anticipates the architecture patterns you will need, the database relationships and even your coding styles. With GPT-5, Copilot can now handle multiple files, multi-layer projects without losing track of how everything fits together. And that is perfect for what we are about to build. Here is our mission. We have got this year diagram of a library management system. That is it. No code, no project, no front end. Our plan is to generate a .NET Core Web API from the ER diagram with the help of GitHub Copilot and GPT-5. Add sample data and test the API first. Build an Angular Material UI that consumes our API. Test the whole system end to end. One session, no manual coding. Let us see how GPT-5 and Copilot help us to build this library management system. Here is the sample ER diagram we are using. It consists of various entities like the books, the user, the borrower and everything. We are adding this entity diagram into the Copilot chart, which already selected agent mode and GPT-5 as our target model. Create a .NET API project based on the ER diagram attached and also be specified use the SQLite as the database and add some sample data for testing purpose. This is a simple prompt we use for generating the complete .NET API project out of our ER diagram. Copilot start working on it. First, it is trying to understand the current .NET version in our system. Copilot start generating various folders and entity classes required for our web API. After understanding .NET version, it's created a new folder and creating a .NET new web API projects. Once the API projects is available, added the CS project one, and also it's added multiple packages, the dependency packages to our API projects. It's just like how we develop from scratch a .NET API project, we start from creating a folder, creating a new web API project and add the dependencies, then move for generating different models, the data layer models. Here also, Copilot start generating multiple models like the readers, staff, publisher, book, and it's created a data folder for connectivity between the models with the controller area. Added the library context for uh, supporting the data access and the repository classes for connecting to the SQLite database. Now start adding the controllers, different controllers required for processing different entities associated with our library management system. All these controllers are based on the identified entities from the ER diagram. The reader controller, books controller, launch controller. Once it's completed controllers, it's added the program.cs and the app settings files for completing the API project configuration. 
Copilot is not only developing the project, it's building the project, taking necessary action to migrate to the latest EF frameworks, and running the project to understand whether the API endpoints are responding properly. And it summarized the entire evaluation and the steps it's taken. Started with a checklist, actions taken in terms of creation of the solution and API project with the SQLite database, even it's added Swagger documentation and the files created under each of the directories. The data model highlights it's taken the repository patterns and everything. And sample data, how much sample data assigned to or inserted into the SQLite database. Moreover, it's provided the endpoints, uh, the get, post, and delete, different endpoints are captured. Based on that, you can go ahead and explore it further. Our running API is opened, especially the Swagger documentation. As you can observe, there is a books API. It's a get without any parameters. We are trying out. After execution, you are getting a bunch of book details. The sample data is inserted by Copilot. The API is working fine. Similarly, we have the APIs for other models. It's not only really get API, post, put, and delete. Every construct is taken care. Moreover, the server documentation covers the complete schema information. It's added the schema details and attributes to the schema level means attributes to the models level that's why we have the schema information as part of the Swagger documentation the entire implementation of the api project is completed we are keeping the changes done by copilot and our next task is to develop an angular ui based on material design Backend is ready now. Now the face of our application, the UI needs to be prepared. We passed our requirement, creation of an Angular application for library management using Angular and material designs. And it should link to the other pages. The component pages using proper navigation Make the UI appealing with the proper color combinations. Connect the application with the API we just created. Copilot start working on the new Angular application development. Started by observing the existing API, whether it support the course, the cross-site reference endpoints or not. And it went ahead and configured the course policies under program.cs. It also modifying the patterns and response shapes for each of the controllers that can match with our Angular application. Once the course policies and the modifications completed, Copilot built the existing API projects and added a new Angular application using NGNU. The basic application creation completed. Copilot went ahead and added the application routers, different components for completing our application. Started with a landing page, then different books component and reader components. Once it's completed the Angular application, Copilot went ahead and testing the application using the npm build and run commands and the app. The UI app is opened in the inbuilt browser inside VS Code itself for the testing purpose. Copilot not only really developed the friend-end application, it went ahead and tested the application ensuring that the data is properly loaded into the UI application. It tested against the API endpoints, the data returned from the API endpoint and the data displayed on the UI is verified. Copilot generate the summary of the changes. Just like the summarization of API application development, 
here copilot provided the summary of angular application development started with the checklist and the components added what are the angular components and how to run this application is captured in detail using these steps you can test the application and also it's added some kind of quality gates and also copilot done testing and the quality gates are captured whether it's passed or not now we are going to run our api project let us see how it's loading the api this is the library api and also the library management application there are a great landing page along with that navigations to navigation to books and readers we started this morning with nothing but an er diagram and now we have a full stack application the database api friend and ui all styled and functional this entire stack of application built under 30 minutes with the github copilot and gpt5 this is not just faster coding this is the new way of building software where your role shifts from writing every line of code to getting the ai making the architecture calls and focusing on the creative and strategic side of development if you found this as a thrilling experience go ahead and explore github copilot because the future of coding is not coming it is already here see you in the next video